here on our Saturday clinic once a month and when we're in New York or Miami, and we are doing one of the treatments you guys asked me about the most, male birth enhancement. Um, I'm gonna show you guys today the technique we used to use in the old days more than we do now called cannula technique. It is a little bit safer um, just because you are in one plane and it gives you a lot less uh, bruising. The hard part with it is that you can't get as big of a size with this, but since we're just doing kind of a smaller um, initial starting point, I think this is a good initial treatment for him to do it this way versus doing it with the needle. I'll be able to get it a little more even and it's definitely more difficult for guys that are uncircumcised to be um, as even. And so we're gonna use this technique to make it so we get it more even more quickly. Um, and you guys see, I already did a couple syringes. There we go. Did a couple syringes already and there's literally no bleeding, minimal pain. He has some nerve blocks. So the treatment itself is very safe um, and very tolerable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just kind of lightly filling each area. It's very important you understand the anatomy. Like I said, there's a lot of providers that are starting to promote this and start doing treatment but have very little experience in doing it. And it's very important that when you do this, you go to somebody who knows what they're doing because this treatment is has a lot of risk. And honestly, both cosmetically and medical. Cosmetically, um, if you don't do the right amount, if you do the wrong filler type, if it's done uh, non-artistically, sorry, you might feel a little pinch here or there. It, um, How long before you could have sexual interaction? Two weeks, guys. Yeah, two weeks, no sex or masturbation if you can. If the bruising is a lot less, we can probably go a little bit earlier. Um, I have patients send us pictures so we can follow how they're doing and go from there. Okay, so I did this initial starting point. A lot of grabbing and pulling, very important now. We're gonna work on the sides. So that was the top portion. And what we're going to do today is combine that with two treatments. We're going to do Bocock treatment. We talk about this a lot. I've actually been doing this for years, but it's now a trademark term. Botox to the penis helps the blood supply, helps erectile dysfunction, overall longevity and vitality of the penis and better erections. Also helps the filler, to be honest. It helps the blood supply so that the filler um, is less likely to have any issues, be very even. Um, it's overall a great wellness treatment if you guys are looking for improved sexual performance, you wanna enhance the results of the filler, things like that. And so you see, gently we're doing this. Um, and it's very important, again, when someone's uncircumcised that you taper it. Because we don't want him, when he's erect, to look like there's a missing area. We're doing just hyaluronic acid today. We can do a permanent filler. Jordan, what are some of the questions people ask me a lot that I should answer? People are gonna ask about how it's gonna impact length. That's okay, a popular so, one. So typically with length, it doesn't really do as much, although the heavier and bigger it gets, the more it comes forward. We often will inject Botox into the ligament above the penis called the suspensory ligament. That relaxes the ligament and actually usually gives us a quarter to a half an inch in length. Very interesting. How long okay. is it gonna last? People ask us that all the time. Right now we're doing a more temporary filler. This one's gonna last about a year, but we can mix it with PMA, which is gonna be our long-term filler, and that will give a long-term result. Typically, we like to do our temporary filler first, which is gonna be a hyaluronic acid, and the next treatments, we can do a hyaluronic acid and a Bellafil mix. That's typically what we do. People ask how many treatments often. Oftentimes, we, most patients are gonna need two to three treatments. We're gonna do the first one, see how it settles, and then we're gonna blend it in with our second and third treatment. And the key, you guys, is, is, is managing the expectations, understanding how to do this technically. We do have a university training program that we're gonna be doing in New York um, very, very soon that um, you guys can sign up for, and I'm gonna teach you different techniques and all the skills. It's on our website, guys, emeryuniversity.com. And um, you can DM us. Someone actually just wrote in right now for it. Perfect. Definitely want to do that <laughs> training for you. Uh, let that let us know. And so again, I'm just trying to circumferentially give him. Hold on. Okay. 
make it as even and as blended as possible. Is this preferred over fat injection? So this patient did have fat before, right? Yep. So and you can do fat with it. Like I have some people where the day we do fat injections, we actually inject a permanent filler with it, MP shot, because, so you guys see, we were able to really increase it. And you see, I, I again, I made it as it blends. So from here down, it's not as much. From here up, it's a little bit more. We can always add more and build it. So now it's nice, so it's a little bit bigger. Hook. Can you get your fupa removed and do this to Jax? Yes, you can. I do that all the time. And sometimes we even do mini tucks at the same time that we do this because it improves the whole area. Now we're gonna do Botox directly into the penis. This goes into a different area. This is into the corpus area. And this can be done with P-Shot. It can be done... With a number of things. Yeah, so I'm just doing it nice and slow with, the, with itself, but we often will do this with P-Shot because PRP really helps um, the blood supply regenerate. You often want more than just when we do the dilation of the blood vessels. You really want, sorry, you're gonna feel a little for bit. For those of you asking, when we do the monpubis liposuction mini tuck, we also do get a little bit of increase in length from that too. You do, you do. And we see that frequently, not only in the pictures, but our patients, sorry, our patients will tell us so we're doing the Botox directly, we're almost done. Is this permanent? No, this treatment's not permanent, but we have some more long-term options other than this. It just depends on what you want, what you're comfortable with, what you want to spend, and oh, that's bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's very important to be trained on this, you guys. Because you can, we've seen a lot of things go wrong that we've had to correct and try to reverse or camouflage. Sometimes people go elsewhere, we can't even reverse what was done. We try our best to just camouflage mm -hmm. what was done Especially before. Especially if it's a silicone base. Now the last part is our shockwave therapy. Go ahead. We're gonna put a little bit of gel on him and then we're gonna do shock therapy. The shock therapy is not only to increase the Botox improvement because it's gonna stimulate the blood supply, but it also evens the filler out. And this is one of my favorite treatments. You're gonna feel a cord across you. There you go. Hit the play. So basically there's different devices. This is the Avive device specifically. This one is gonna have pneumatic pressure. We have many we have many different devices, so depending on what office you come see us at, it might be a different device. And there's different ways to do this, but given that we did filler, mainly on the sides of the top, we're gonna to work to really rejuvenate the entire area. So we typically grab right at the tip, at the base, and stimulate the area. The and one this is gonna really help his, his toe pop, you guys. Really help stimulate the blood vessels and even out the filler. So people are asking the pricing. Fillers can go between $750 and $1,500 a syringe, depending on the type of filler that we're doing. This and then- This could be $500 to $1,000 of treatment, depending on what we're doing. It could be a little less if we're combining it with different things. And Botox is per unit. Some people, my other providers could be eight to $10. I could be up to $20. It just depends on what we're doing and what company. Where are you guys based out of? I've been following you forever. I'm from Vegas. We are in Los Angeles right now, but we do LA, New York, and Miami. And so we have a lot of Vegas clients, you guys. Definitely come over for a weekend. Just like we go to Vegas for a weekend on Jet FedEx. You can come here real quick. Go right back, no problem. Okay. So what is this? We're gonna finish this up. I'm gonna have you guys take a look in just a second. I'm gonna have you guys look in just a second. We're also gonna post this on Twitter today so that you guys can learn a lot about it because there's very few doctors that really explain this and understanding the full treatment regimen and stuff is difficult. One of the things I will mention, and I could post about this today later on Jason Ember and the Instagram is PT141, it's a peptide that's used to stimulate blood circulation and increase oxytocin in the blood, which helps the penis enlarge and engorge. Um, similar to a vasodilator like Cialis, it actually complements it, but it helps this area have vitality. And as you age, when that goes down, it's, it prevents it from going away. You want those stronger, harder erections, so you feel better, you have better sex life. Sex is important to people, guys. It's super important, and it's not taboo that we talk about it. Does it hurt to pee after this? No, actually, there's no issues at all. In fact, if he was just doing Botox, I would tell him to go home and have sex that night because it would stimulate it and make it work better. But because we're doing it with the filler, we gotta wait. So just a few more pulses, we're almost done. Everything looks great. I'll show you guys. All right. Take a look. 
Hold on, let me wait until it's done so we can show them the pan. There's different ways to do it. This is an advanced technique. Taking you show you guys real quick. I'm just gonna wipe now. Obviously, there's swelling, there's nerve blocks, so it doesn't look as perfectly regular, but it will be. But you see increase in size. You can see if we press here, it'll be like he's erect, bigger on both sides, bigger on the top, tapered as we go to the bottom, and we'll slowly improve it with more filler if needed. And that's it, guys. Male girth enhancement.